let's talk about the 88 Lions Gate Energy Portal. Hi everybody, I'm Michelle here with Angel Souls and I am an angel medium and spiritual practitioner and I do like to speak on angelic number dates. One of those would be 88 coming up here on August 8th. What is the Lions Gate Portal? This has been going on for a very long time. People have spoke of it often and it is called the lion's gate because it happens literally right smack dab in the middle of leo season and it is the rise of the star sirius and some people feel that the sirius star system is where a lot of angels archangels spirit guides come from or where they reside if you want to see that as a dimensional place i don't know but some have even said that they believe jesus came from Sirius, that Mother Mary came from Sirius. So it's an interesting discussion. There are a lot of different takes around this date, but being an angel medium, we're going to take the angelic <laughs> approach to this. So first and foremost, if we are talking about a beautiful time to tap into and get messages from your angels, this is one of those times for sure. Why is that? Well, 8-8 is a date. This Lion's Gate portal is associated with heart opening, with connecting into divine energy because uh, we people call it a gateway. They call it a portal opening. Yeah, if that provides a great visual for you. But this is a time where you can get an energetic upgrade. Your frequency can raise up. Your consciousness can expand. You can remember you can remember where you come from. You can remember your soul. You can remember what you stepped into this human body to accomplish. So with this, this can be just a beautiful chance at taking a spiritual day break, right? And allowing this process to occur and to allow the alignment of your chakras. And it is thought that, you know, besides the seven main ones, you can do a 12 chakra activation. The, the more subtle chakras can be activated. It's also known as a DNA activation day. And we talk in terms of when we have angel signs that come with repeating numbers, that sometimes they will flash. And there's a whole thing about why they use codes. It's to bypass the ego consciousness so that we're not overthinking the messages they're trying to get to us and fit it into this density consciousness realm to make it make sense, right? Taking something that's beyond what our human brains can comprehend and, and trying to make it squeezed into this meaning, right, in this plane. So this is more about us experiencing the messages through our whole being. How do we do that? Well, a lot of times our brains will respond to repeating numbers and an emotional reaction will happen. Now our energy is open. So that's just one way that they do it with the repeating numbers. They can do it with, you know, messages through other people, signs, symbols, words on a billboard, you know, all of that. There are a lot of ways that angels try to get us to experience what they're uh, wanting us to understand. And again, bypassing that ego consciousness so we don't mess it up, <laughs> okay? Not twist it into something we want to hear instead of what we need to hear. So with repeating numbers, and especially with the Lion's Gate um, portal energy opening, the angels might be flashing sequences of numbers that will activate a soul code, a memory within your DNA. It wakes it up. It says, here we go, because numbers have frequency just like words have frequency. So when we see that something is occurring, this is part of how that DNA activation might happen for many of you. So if you are seeing, like, I, I see 2323 two, three, quite a bit, <laughs> like, you know, those kinds of things. You might be seeing 1111, you might be seeing 1010, all of those things. But wherever you are on your path, those are the number codes that you will see. And when you see, it's just the recognition of it that starts that process. So this energy is already occurring. We're already in it. But it's going to reach its peak on 8-8. And then we'll experience some stuff afterwards as well. So this is a prime time to let stuff go. Let your heart be healed. 
be in alignment, open up to divine love, get those messages and downloads from your angels, your archangels, spirit guides. You can speak a little bit easier to loved ones on the other side as well if you want to do that. So prime time to be doing this. The other thing that this can do that again going back to the activation the activation of remembering right remembering for a moment not through the brain this is a different kind of experience it's not um i see concrete images in my mind this is a whole body not even a whole body this is a whole being experience where it might just be a flood of peace why because even though you can't pinpoint exactly where it was or what it was or what it was called you have a sense of home. You have a sense of home in a love vibration that comes right from divine source, creator, the universe, whatever you call that. So this is an important day. And if we get caught up in ego happenings, which a lot of us can do, we might block some of that out or we just aren't taking a moment. We're not taking a beat to absorb that. So this is a beautiful time for abundance. We're talking about the number eight. Uh, eight is often associated with abundance. You'll hear everybody say that first and foremost. But again, that is connected to, you know, taking something that is inspirational, divine. This, this sort of, if you want to say it as otherworldly, high frequency, beautiful energy. And finding a way for it to come through you as a conduit to manifest it into this physical realm. If we do that, and we do that with love and beautiful intention, that very creation that gets put out into this physical world can help with the frequency of this place. So when we're producing something beautiful, not for money, not for recognition, you know, all of that, we're just putting some good work out there. It has an energy, it has a frequency, and it can, as people observe it, experience it, sense it, whatever the case may be, they raise their frequency as well. So it really is an important time for a lot of people who are empathetic, sensitive. You you call yourself a light worker, a star seed, a medium, psychic, whatever. Like (laughs) you do the esoteric arts. And especially when you practice from a place of light, this is an important time to create and bring those creations into this realm to help balance things out a little bit more. So bear that in mind. What can we do to capture this time? Well, if you want to work with me, you can go to my website, angelsouls444.com. We can certainly do a, a reading where I can tell you specifically what you'll need to release, work on, what might be getting in the way of this, uh, and how you specifically would be able to tune in the best for where you are. Right, But in general... Meditation, obviously, (laughs) but making sure you're doing a clearing before you come up to this, you know, pinnacle date and spend, you don't have to spend the whole day in meditation, obviously. Some of you may have to go to work, but, you know, make sure you're spending time on your spiritual awareness, putting out a lot of good energy, putting out a love frequency, allowing love to come back to you. You'll see there's a flow. You'll also see people who are maybe feeling left out energetically. I know, but like they're not literally thinking that, I'm sure. But, (laughs) you know, some people really don't react well to this frequency. They find it bothersome too much. They don't understand it, so they want to push it back. So you might experience that as well. But some of the archangels that you could work with on this day, Archangel Ariel. Ariel is associated with material manifestations, abundance, prosperity, nature and the earth but also she her name actually means lioness of god so if we're talking about the lion's gate honey you better be talking to the lioness of god right so be working with archangel ariel it's a great time to spend time outdoors connecting to nature whatever makes you feel peaceful let's just just lay it down like that the other archangel who has had some association with uh, the sign of leo is Archangel Raziel. Raziel is known as the magician angel. Raziel helps you see what is possible, especially if you're somebody who says, oh, I could never. Oh, that's impossible. Raziel helps you see 
and, and sort of projects out there, here's how it could be possible. And I always perceive Raziel as a rainbow on a night sky. So if you want to see, you can kind of understand that type of energy and that type of frequency coming through. And he really helps with manifestation and also can be associated with abundance and prosperity. And then, of course, you can work with Gabriel. You can work with Metatron. Metatron would be phenomenal to work with because of the energetic upgrade part of this. And because of those energetic upgrades and the expanded consciousness, guess where else it's going to help? The third eye. Okay, so this is going to be opening up your intuition. For those of you who especially, as I was saying before, you do the esoteric arts, you're in the spiritual arts. This is sort of, can we call it your birthday? <laughs> is that your birthday party? It's sort of your time for, um, it's, it's like, I'm getting this image of Lightworker Appreciation Day, right? Like that being the landscape where we all get to tune in and have our moment of grace and recharge and help us on our path and on our soul's contract. Okay, so there's so much more I could say about this, but this would be a forever long video. Just make sure that you are taking care of yourself on this day. Don't let the ego get in the way of, you know, anything that you want to create. It's a powerful time for you as a spiritual being on this planet. It is your moment of rest, rejuvenation, to have lots of potential. Just a lot of potential just show up in front of you and then you can decide, no matter where you are on your soul's contract, whether you want to, you know, take advantage of that or not, okay? Leave your comments down below. If I get enough of the same question, I'll make a whole other video and we'll leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.